Now let us talk about a little bit of difference between the contract and the tender. So what is contract versus what is tender? So tender as I've explained is just an invitation given to many contractors or many people or many service providers. Uh, okay, so at that point of time, it is not fixed that who will do the work. It is not sure. So as I've explained, tender is just an invitation. Invitation that is given to many contractors. So this is given to many contractors and among them. So let's say one, two, three, four, five contractors and among them you selected the third contractor. So after selection of this contractor, what we do is that we bind that contractor with us. So we make sure that the contractor does the work for us and contractor does the work as specified by us, not how he likes. So he should do the work how we like him to do. So this thing is done by the process of the contract. So now the contract we will do only with contractor number three. Tendering we will do with one, two, three, four, five. The contract we will do with contractor number three only. If we see this thing on the timeline of a project, then uh, let's say that uh, this is where we award the contract. So we invite, we select and we award and we say that, hey, Mr. Contractor three, congratulations, you got this tender, you got this work. And let's say that this is where we award that contract, right? So we congratulate the contractor. <laughs> okay. So from here onwards in the timeline, forward in the direction, the binding or the agreement that is between the client and the contractor that we call as the contract. So this will be termed as the contract. And before awarding the contract, the binding between the client and all these contractors, it will be known as the tender. So why this is a binding? So tender is also a binding. It's because, you know, the client has said that the client has said that, hey, contractors, I have got this thing to do and I need this kind of contractor. And if you meet the requirement, maybe of the turnover or the resources the company has. If you meet these requirements, then you can do my work. So this is also a binding. Uh, let's say that uh, among these one, two, three, four, five contractors, uh, contractor three turns out to be the best one. Now you cannot say that, no, I don't want to give this contract to you because I don't like you. You cannot say that. You have to give that contract to the contractor three, even if let's say that you don't like that contractor. So this is the reason this is also an agreement. And this is the agreement before the contract is awarded. 